Hello everybody! In the last few weeks I received lots of questions about which bag I use for traveling and what exactly I pack into it. So now that I arrived in one of my favorite beaches here in Brazil and I'm going to stay for three weeks, I think a little over three weeks, I thought I would just take the opportunity and unpack with you and show you exactly what it is that I bring. So let's go unpack! Okay, so here you can see the two bags that I travel with. The left one is a little messenger bag from Eagle Creek and it counts as my personal item. And the bigger one is a 43 or 42 liter backpack by a brand called Nitro. I think it's their weekender. I used to have a more uh, travel backpack before, but for me they're all too slick and I like to have little pouches to stuff things into it. So for me a backpack like this is perfect. Okay, so inside this little thing I have all of my valuables and things that I want to keep nearby when I'm traveling. And here in the front, I'm not going to show you, I have all those things that nowadays you need, like uh, hand sanitizer and face masks and all these kind of things. Then here in the middle compartment, I keep... Uh, it's a pouch by Havaianas. It's not fully waterproof but it's kind of, and it's very nice to just put your phone and headphones and stuff inside when you go to the beach. So I got this five years ago and actually I like it very much. So I'm going to keep on using it. And in here at the moment, I just have a, a thing to clean my glasses, my earphones and some tissues. The next thing I carry in this pouch is a very big travel wallet. It's from Osprey. I bought this uh, this year to store all the documents that nowadays you need for travel and all the health declarations and all these things. And I like it very much that it has lots of different pockets for passports and cards and vaccine certificates and uh, little slots for SIM cards and foreign money and all those things and just keep it organized. And when I arrive at the hotel, I just throw it into the safe and forget about it until I have to leave again. But it's nice to know that all the documents and everything is in one place together. Then I have my sunglasses. I wear optical glasses, so that's optical sunglasses. And then I just have a few cables and a power bank in here. I'm not going to show you now. And back here in this next compartment, I keep my tech. So I have one Apple Pencil, I have my iPad Pro, I have another case for the iPad Pro because I don't always like to haul around the heavy keyboard and I have my iPad Mini which I mainly use for reading. And here in the back of the bag I usually carry my phone but that's what I use now for filming so fortunately I cannot show it. So let's move on to the big one. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Should we go pouch by pouch? Yeah, let's start with the outside. So up here, I keep my hoodie and my rain jacket. And it's very nice to be able to access it very quickly when you're on the go. Then, let's continue with this compartment. Up here I have my jeans, because nowadays it's too warm. So I did not travel with jeans, I traveled with shorts. That's why I put them in there. But coming over from Europe, you always need kind of warm pants. The next thing I have is my um, toiletries kit with a hero clip. If you want to know what's inside this toiletries kit, I already did a separate video and the content is still more or less the same. So head over to watch this video. The next thing I have here is my tech pouch. Here I keep uh, cables and power banks and dongles and tripods and all kinds of things. But I'm afraid that the content of my tech pouch and what I really use to work on the road is a little bit too much for this video. Maybe I should do a different one. So let me know if you're interested in seeing another video about which tech I travel with and what I can do with it. And I will happily do that. Then uh, this pouch, as you can see, I love pouches. My boyfriend 
or I have to say nowadays my husband since we got married, he always makes fun of me for having everything in pouches, but I think it makes packing and unpacking just very easy. So in this pouch I keep everything that I need on my nightstand. So just to give you an idea, I have some hand cream in here. That's uh, my pouch where I keep my earplugs. So for me that's the best pouch because it's very easy to access them. And what else do I have in here? I have uh, some face masks, I have some medicine, I have some nose spray, I have a chapstick. So all kinds of things that I like to have next to my bed. And I just always have them organized in here. And it's also very easy when we leave the place again because I just take my bag and throw it into my backpack. Then in this bag I carry all my bikinis. So what I have in here is uh, three bikini tops and two bottoms. Then in this pouch here, which is an old sunglass case, I just carry around my camera and the charger. I found a very nice one with uh, USB, so it saves a lot of weight because it's a one less charger I have to carry around. Okay, so in the next pouch, I have some, well, I always call it my MacGyver pouch because it's full of those things that sometimes come in very, very handy, but you don't need it every day, like uh, compete blister thingies and, uh, well, some female hygiene products because you never know and some medicine and nail clippers and those kind of things. I also keep in here spare earplugs. I have one thing I want to show you. No, actually two things I want to show you. First one is I made this little kit where I put some extra yarn and some super glue and one of those things to take out SIM cards and also some uh, yarn and nails for just the little emergencies that you get on the road. And since I like to drink every once in a while, uh, a wine or a bottle of wine or some beer, I carry this with me. This is obviously to open beer bottles and this one is one of my favorite things in my kit because there's nothing worse than having a bottle of wine and not being able to open it. So I travel with my own little wine opener. Isn't that cute? And the nice thing is that it's very compact and does not take up much space but it comes in very very handy in many many situations. Okay. Then back here, this bag has kind of a laptop compartment, but I don't keep a laptop in here because I don't have a laptop anymore. I travel only with my iPad Pro, but what I keep in here is a spare case with a second Bluetooth keyboard, because sometimes it comes in very, very handy when you just want to quickly answer some emails on the phone on the go or whatever or on the iPad mini so that's why I keep this with me and I made this case myself so please don't judge my <laughs> my craft skills maybe I I hope I have other talents <laughs> then what else do I have in here I have um, just a empty thing to collect papers since uh, I'm self-employed every once in a while you get an invoice that you want to keep so I always Take this with me to store them and yeah that's about it then here and there's a little side pocket inside so what i keep here is just uh oh, that's actually very nice um, my husband and me we love to play rumiko so we bought this uh, travel version it's very very small and lightweight so it's perfect for us to take along and it makes for a nice uh, game night every once in a while. Then the next thing I have in this uh, tin, I actually love those uh, cinnamon things and I love to repurpose those tins. I keep um, just a few spare things like spare headbands and um, spare plugs for my ears and those kind of things. And I also keep uh, one, I don't know how you call that, stretching band with me because every once in a while it, com it comes in very handy and does not take up too much space 
Then up here, in this pouch, lots of pouches. I carry some uh, spare face masks, some extra diarrhea pills. Ah, and actually, this is also another nice thing that I bought. Because when you do laundry on the road, you do it a lot and it's not always very nice to find a hygienic place to hang your undies or your socks. So I purchased this thing and uh, you can either just, um, it has a velcro here, so you can just hang it over some rod or you can just hang it on a hanger. And then you can just hang up your socks and your undies and they dry very nicely. So I really like this thing. I think officially they're um, storage hangers for caps, if I'm not wrong. Very cheap, very nice, can only recommend it. And another thing that I upgraded is because my hairbrush from my toiletries video, it broke. So I upgraded to a bigger one now since my hair gets longer. And I like this one very much so far, so it's a little bit dirty, sorry about that. That's the real travel life. But yeah, you can collapse it very small and it's very compact and I like it very much. Yeah, and back here, the last pouch is my clothes. Let's see, can you see it here? Yeah. I broke my other... Um, packing cube so now I upgraded to one of these ones for from Peak Design and actually I like it very much it's one of the compressible ones since I don't unpack my clothes I live out of the packing cube this is very nice for me because when I open it and I open this thing as well then um, it's very high and then I just always stuff this thing here in the back and it's like a nice little bucket to keep my clothes contained. So what I brought on this trip is a uh, one, how you call this, for the dirty laundry, whatever the name is. I brought uh, one of those um, things to make my clothes smell good because it's already been two months that we gave up our apartment and uh, you don't always have access to laundry or washing machines so sometimes it's nice that your laundry just smells good which is not always the case when you hand wash it and in here i brought um that's a pair of uh, launch pants long ones because i get cold at night and i like to be comfy i brought uh, my pair of uh, jeans shorts I brought a pair of sleep shorts. I bought a pair of uh, hiking shorts plus the one that I'm wearing. Then I brought uh, one long sleeve t-shirt, one uh, regular t-shirt plus one that I'm wearing plus one that is in the laundry. Another t-shirt that's uh, from this ones I actually like very much at the moment. They're the heat gear ones from Under Armour. And they're very nice and they're also nice to hand wash because they dry very fast. Then I have uh, one tank top and I have uh, one nicer top that I can pair with my jeans. Um, yeah, when we want to have a nicer dinner somewhere. Hello, future Maggie here. I'm editing here in the hammock and I just realized that I forgot to mention my underwear. I travel with underwear and in the back of this packing cube there is a second compartment and in there I keep three pairs of underwear and three pairs of socks. So just wanted to let you know. And I did not go in depth in this video about how I pick the clothes for this video, but I just wanted to mention that I have a separate video where I explain that and I will link it in the comments down below. So that's it. But I have lots of more pockets left on this uh, backpack. Ah, oh, no, there's actually more things down here. I travel with a pillow. It's a Eros pillow from Sea to Summit. It's not one of those um, neck pillows. It's a regular pillow and I actually like it very much. It's nice when you go to the beach or when you're in an airplane. 
Then another thing I have down here is just a uh, towel, microfiber towel. I usually stay in places where you get towels, but this one I use just to go to the beach and stuff like this. And I also have my Sea to Summit dry bag with me uh, that I use to do laundry sometimes. And if you want to know how I do my laundry on the road, I already did a separate video on that and I will link it somewhere here. Then let's move on. Here in the front pocket, I hope you can see that. I have uh, my umbrella and I have my notebook. Actually, it's two notebooks. This one is because I'm learning Portuguese at the moment and that's just my regular planning notebook. And again, if you want to know how I plan my things, I already did a separate video on that. So I will also link it for you. Then here, this came with that keyboard that I just showed you before. It's you can put your phone here and it will stand upright. So it's very lightweight and very slim. I don't use it very often, but every once in a while it comes in handy. So I keep it with me. And I have some tissues. And then in the next compartment, there's a separate compartment here. Let me just zip this up for shoes. So here I keep my flip flops and a pair of hiking sandals. And then there's more pouches. Who would have thought that? So on this side, I have um, sunscreen and bug spray. Very important. And on this side, I have more sunscreen and a grocery bag. And I'm actually very curious about this sunscreen. If I really get tanned or not. <laughs> ah yeah, there's one more thing I travel with. But I already took it out of the bag because I'm thirsty. And that's nowadays I like to travel with one of those um, hydro flask cups, I guess, because it keeps the drinks very cold, which is very nice in warm countries like Brazil. And I think it's their beer glass. So yeah, I like it very much. So yeah, this is everything I take. This is probably the messiest pack with me video you've ever seen. Sorry about that. But yeah. That's the truth. Okay, so this is what I brought with me. If you are interested in more minimalist packing content, check out my playlist that I created and I will put it somewhere right here. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.